Okay, all right, much better. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna stick you right here. There we go. Okay, all right. So hello everybody and welcome once again to yet another unboxing video. It's been a hot minute since we made one of these, right? Anyways, we're here with San Ron Cagra Peach Beach Splash. Mostly because I am completely un unable to stop myself from buying stuff that says special edition, limited edition, and so on and so forth. So as you might know if you've watched my um, review channel, one of the first videos I did was on San Ron Cagra Shinobi Versus a, on PC. And it was just, it's a game I really enjoyed. It was one of the first Musou games I ever played that I really got into. And I just, there's just something about this series that has a nice little spot in my heart, mostly because it is completely and utterly shameless from the games themselves to the developers to just, they're just really fun. I really like them. I really like playing them for plot and other reasons. But yeah, so this is the special no shoes, no shirt, all service. It's no way, it's no shirt, no shoes, all service edition. So let me just take off the plastic wrap on this thing. Off you go. And there we go. Here's a look of it at, at it without the plastic wrap. It's in this nice little box thing, which we can open up. Okay, and surprisingly, there is no stickers or anything, so we can just open it up. And we see inside, this is an art, uh, an art book. The Hebe Rock Party. So yeah, it's just one of the characters, and it's just a nice little art booklet, let me see. Uh, yeah, just some promotional art and stills from the game, along with, Jesus Christ, those that does not seem physically possible. I, I think the physics act a bit different in this universe than they do in ours, as you can see from that. It's a nice little, even better little look, but yeah. And we also got some good little character art with, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but with the measurements and their heights and just all sorts of stuff like that. Yeah. We got a couple of the new characters for this particular game, along with some reoccurring ones. And they also have, like, for the water guns, because this is basically Splatoon with tits. It's basically what I basically come away from seeing all of the trailers and stuff. And, of course, some artwork of some of the endgame items, I imagine. But just a nice little art book. But, wait, that's not all. Because we also get, and this is, is this what I think it is? Yep. This is the soundtrack right here, and if I'm not mistaken as well, there should be a Blu-ray disc with high definition versions of all of the animations, which is really, really freaking cool. So what is this? Original soundtrack. Yeah, here we go. Here it is. There's the Blu-ray with all of the opening animations, and here's the soundtrack. So yeah, just a nice, nice little bonus, you know. So we're just gonna open, come on, come on out, there we go. No oh god, don't drop that on the disc side down. That would be bad. No, don't you make. Come on, come on out of the circle, preferably without breaking. There we go, oh wait, no, this is actually just a DVD it looks like, alright. Yeah, and here are two of the characters. That's... Okay, what is your name? Uh, this, I remember this character's name. This the character is actually like a... I'm not going to say her name, partly because I don't remember, but partly because she's basically a walking spoiler for the first game, if I'm not mistaken, on the, on the 3DS. So, she will go nameless. But yeah, that's her friend slash guardian person in the other circle. 
So, and you please go in. Thank you. And they fit snugly and securely, even if it makes me a bit nervous that they fit so snugly. But then we have the game itself. So, you know, there's the artwork. There's the artwork we can see on the box, just a bit bigger. And actually, if I'm not mistaken, it's, if anything, yeah, it's the same size. But yeah, so we're going to open this thing up, see what's in here. See if there's any alternate artwork we can stick on the outside. Because a lot of times they'll have, the slip cases will have alternate, like, artwork that you can, like, flip it around to get that. But let's see what we got. Oh, yep, here we go. We got the starting manual. So this game actually has a manual with it, surprisingly, in this day and age. And what is this? Yeah. No artwork or anything. This is just, like, basically, like, hey, here's what you can do. And it looks like there's customization. And, okay, yeah, so it's not, like, it does not... I don't know if you can customize the characters like you can in the others, like their outfits. I would be surprised if you couldn't, but yeah, I'm not sure about that. And yeah, here's a little card for the exclusive DLC. For the, you know, DLC that comes with buying this. You know, here's the code. You can try and use it. It's not going to work because I'm already going to be using it, but yeah. Here's the artwork in full detail, and yep, it looks like we can flip this around for alternate artwork, so let's do that. Usually I like this artwork a bit more than the default, but yeah, let's switch that around. And close you. Do, 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 do. Yep, there we go. A little bit of alternate artwork for the game. So yeah, that's Senron Kagura Beach Peach Beach Splash. Uh, nice little special edition at um, launch. I believe it was around 80 bucks, but if I'm not mistaken, you can get this at around $69. So like $10 more than just the original, just the default original edition. So yeah, nice little, you know, if you're into the Senron Kagura series, if you like art books or if you want the soundtrack, then yeah, it's a great little thing to have. So yeah, just a nice little thing to purchase. I'm a big fan of this series, so, you know, I saw that it was basically the same price as the just normal physical game, so I thought, why not just buy it, and, you know, I'll show you guys over here. So yeah, that's been a look at the special No Shirt, No Shoes, All Service Edition of Sunrun Kagura Peach Beach Splash. I've heard this is a pretty good game, and I'm a fan of the series just because of how utterly shameless both it and its developers are, so I decided to pick it up because I just like, you know, tat like that. So anyways, this has been, you know, another unboxing video. If you liked the video, like it. If you disliked it, well, there's a button for that too. Comment, subscribe, ring the bell, and be sure to check out my description for links to, like, my website, my Twitter, and all my other YouTube channels. My Let's Play channel where I'm currently finishing up Bloodborne. And I have begun playing both Persona and Yakuza, so I'm going to be spending a long, long time with those. Those are pretty long games, both of them from all I've heard. And I also have my um, review channel, where I recently put up a review of Kara no Kyokai, otherwise known as The Guardian of Sinners. A, um, I believe it's one of the first things made by the uh, UFO Table animation studio. Very, very famous for their just slick-looking animation and... Uh, Type Moon, the creators of the Nasuverse, the Fate Stay Night, and, you know, Tsukehime universe, you know, one of which has gotten a, a couple of different anime adaptations, and Tsukehime, which is a good visual novel, and it doesn't have any animation, anime adaptations, no, shut up, we, it doesn't exist, I don't care what Wikipedia says, there is no Tsukihime anime. Okay? Are we understood? Phenomenal. So yeah, that's been it for the day. Um, do all of that. I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.